we present the National Examination Questions Explainer. In this lesson, we will revise the human breathing system. Which one of the following parts of the breathing system initiates the movement of air into the nose? A. Trachea B. Lungs C. Diaphragm and D. Bronchus The answer is C. It is the diaphragm that initiates the movement of air from the atmosphere and into the nose. The diaphragm is a sheet of muscle that separates the chest from the abdomen. This diagram shows how the diaphragm flattens during breathing in and becomes dome-shaped during breathing out. Breathing in air that is rich in oxygen is also referred to as inhalation. Breathing out air that is rich in carbon dioxide is also referred to as exhalation. Let us now explain the role of the diaphragm during the breathing process. The diaphragm allows the lungs to expand and contract. During breathing in, the diaphragm moves downwards. This movement increases the volume of the chest cavity. During breathing out, the diaphragm moves upwards and becomes dome-shaped. This movement reduces the volume of the chest cavity. The diagram shown here represents a model that can be used to demonstrate breathing in human beings. What does the part labeled X represent? A. Chest B. Lungs C. Ribs and D. Diaphragm The answer is B. The balloons represent the lungs. The picture illustrates a model that can be used to demonstrate the breathing process in human beings. Let us explain the labeled parts. Part A represents the trachea. It branches in two bronchi. Part B represents the chest cavity. Part C represents the lungs. Part D represents the diaphragm. What happens during the process of breathing in? A. The diaphragm flattens. B. The lungs shrink. C. The diaphragm becomes dome-shaped. And D. The volume of the chest decreases. The answer is A. During breathing in, the diaphragm moves downwards and flattens. The following happen when we breathe in. The ribs move upwards and outwards. Air flows inwards through the nose. The diaphragm moves downwards and flattens. The volume inside the chest increases. And, the lungs expand as air flows inwards. The following happen when we breathe out. The ribs move downwards and inwards. Air flows outwards through the nose. The diaphragm moves upwards and becomes dome-shaped. The volume inside the chest decreases. And, the lungs contract as air is pushed out through the nose. Which of the following parts of the human breathing system are both involved in cleaning, warming, and moistening air? A. Diaphragm and trachea. B. Lungs and diaphragm, C. Nose and lungs, and D. Trachea and nose. The answer is D. 
the nose and trachea are lined up with mucus and hairs that clean, warm, and moisten air. The hairs are also known as cilia. What is the main function of the hair and mucus found in the breathing system? A. They help in the exchange of gases. B. They help to clean the air. C. They protect the nose. And D. They help to keep the trachea open. The answer is B. The nose is lined up with mucus and hairs that clean, warm, and moisten air. The hairs are also known as cilia. Three of the following are functions of the trachea. Which one is not? A. Trapping dust. B. Moistening air. C. Warming air. And D. Exchanging gases in the alveoli. The answer is D. The exchange of gases does not take place in the trachea. It takes place in the air sacs found in the lungs. The air sacs are known as the alveoli. Let us summarize the functions of the trachea. The trachea is also known as the windpipe. The functions of the trachea include the following. It transports air to and from the lungs. The trachea helps to defend the body against disease. The mucus and hairs in the trachea trap disease causing germs such as viruses and harmful bacteria before they enter the lungs. The trachea also helps to regulate the temperature of the air flowing into and out of the lungs. During the cold weather, the trachea helps to warm the air before it reaches the lungs. During the hot weather, the trachea helps to cool the air through evaporation.